To achieve mastery in a discipline, one must first understand that mastery is not a static state, but a dynamic process, an ongoing journey towards the realization of one's full potential. Mastery is not a destination to be reached, but a way of being, a state of consciousness in which one is fully immersed in the present moment, aware of one's own limitations and potentials, and constantly seeking to improve oneself. To become a master, one must have a deep passion and love for their chosen discipline and be willing to devote oneself fully to it, sacrificing comfort, convenience, and even one's own ego in the pursuit of excellence. One must be willing to endure the pain and discomfort of hard work and discipline, to confront and overcome one's own limitations and fears, and to constantly challenge oneself to reach new levels of achievement. In the pursuit of mastery, one must also cultivate the virtues of patience, persistence, and perseverance, for mastery is not achieved overnight, but through a long and arduous process of trial and error, experimentation and refinement, failure and success. One must be willing to learn from one's mistakes, to embrace failure as a natural part of the learning process, and to use every setback as an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. To achieve mastery, one must also be willing to learn from others, to seek out mentors and role models who can inspire, guide, and challenge one to be one's best self. One must be willing to study and learn from the great masters of the past, to draw upon their wisdom and insights, and to integrate their teachings into one's own practice. To achieve mastery, one must cultivate a deep and abiding respect for the mysteries of life and the universe recognizing that one is but a small part of a greater whole, and that the pursuit of mastery is not an end in itself, but a means of serving a higher purpose. One must embrace the esoteric principle of as above, so below, recognizing that the same principles that govern the universe also govern one's own life and practice, and that the pursuit of mastery is ultimately a quest for self-realization and spiritual enlightenment. Drawing upon Robert Greene's mastery, the path to mastery is not one of instant gratification, but rather an arduous journey of apprenticeship, practice, and self-discovery. To become a master of any craft or field, one must be willing to endure the long and difficult road of self-discipline, sacrifice, and resilience. Green describes how the path to mastery involves intense focus and an unwavering commitment to the development of one's craft. The master's journey begins with a deep immersion in the basics of the field, the acquisition of foundational knowledge, and the practice of fundamental skills. From there, the apprentice works to identify their unique strengths, developing a style and approach that is uniquely their own. The path to mastery requires a willingness to take risks, to face failure, and to embrace the discomfort of learning. The master does not shy away from challenging situations, but rather seeks them out as opportunities for growth and development. Through repeated practice and experimentation, the master gradually refines their skills, becoming more efficient and effective in their work. To achieve mastery, one must also cultivate a deep sense of curiosity and a willingness to explore the unknown. The master is always seeking to expand their understanding of their field, exploring new techniques, and pushing the boundaries of what is possible. Through this ongoing process of exploration and discovery, the master develops a deep and nuanced understanding of their craft, enabling them to create work that is truly exceptional. Lifting weights can be a powerful tool in helping individuals develop the skills necessary to learn and achieve mastery in any field. When engaging in weightlifting, one must learn proper form, technique, and breathing to avoid injury and maximize results. These skills translate to any other discipline as well, as they require focus, discipline, and attention to detail. Moreover, weightlifting demands a certain level of consistency and dedication. In order to see progress, one must stick to a regular training routine and push themselves to lift heavier weights over time. This dedication and perseverance is crucial in any pursuit of mastery, as success is rarely achieved overnight and requires a sustained effort over time. In addition, Lifting weights can help develop mental toughness and resilience. Weightlifting often requires pushing through physical discomfort and fatigue, which can help individuals learn to cope with difficult challenges and setbacks. 
This mental toughness can be critical in achieving mastery, as setbacks and failures are inevitable in any pursuit, and the ability to persevere through them is crucial. Incorporating esotericism, spirituality, and human biology can provide a more complete understanding of how lifting weights and achieving mastery can impact one's overall well-being. The practice of weightlifting can be viewed as a physical manifestation of a spiritual journey towards self-improvement and mastery. From a biological perspective, weightlifting triggers a physiological response in the body that can promote physical strength, endurance, and overall health. However, this physical transformation can also have a spiritual component, as the discipline required to adhere to a consistent workout regimen and overcome physical challenges can help develop one's character and strengthen their willpower. At the same time, esoteric principles can provide insight into the deeper meaning and purpose behind the practice of weightlifting. The alchemical idea of transmutation, for example, speaks to the transformational nature of lifting weights, as the process of building physical strength can also serve as a metaphor for personal growth and spiritual evolution. Similarly, the concept of the hero's journey as explored in Joseph Campbell's work, can provide a framework for understanding the transformative power of lifting weights. In this narrative structure, the hero embarks on a journey of self-discovery and faces a series of challenges that ultimately lead to their transformation and mastery. Incorporating spirituality into weightlifting can also involve exploring the deeper aspects of the mind-body connection. Meditation and visualization techniques can help cultivate mental focus and clarity, which can in turn improve one's physical performance and facilitate a deeper sense of connection between mind and body. Mastery of any discipline, be it physical or mental, requires the transmutation of energy and the cultivation of spiritual growth. In the same way that an alchemist transmutes lead into gold, the master transmutes their raw potential into a refined, polished skill. This process requires a deep understanding of the spiritual and energetic forces at play within oneself and the universe as a whole. As the practitioner progresses on their path towards mastery, they must learn to harness and direct their energy towards their chosen goal. This requires the cultivation of discipline and focus, as well as a deep understanding of the forces that govern the universe. By channeling their energy in a purposeful manner, the practitioner can transmute their raw potential into tangible results. However, mastery is not simply a matter of skill and technique. It also requires a deep connection to the spiritual realm and a commitment to personal growth. The master must cultivate a sense of humility and openness, recognizing that there is always more to learn and explore. Through this process of continual self-improvement, the practitioner can refine their craft and achieve new heights of mastery. Just as alchemy requires a deep understanding of the physical properties of matter, mastery requires a deep understanding of the spiritual properties of the universe. By cultivating a sense of spiritual awareness and an understanding of the energetic forces at play within oneself and the universe, the practitioner can achieve true mastery of their craft. In this sense, the pursuit of mastery is not simply a matter of achieving external success or recognition. Rather, it is a spiritual quest, a journey towards self-transformation and the attainment of a higher state of consciousness. Through the transmutation of energy and the cultivation of spiritual growth, the practitioner can achieve true mastery and unlock the full potential of their being.